Five reasons not to have a wing woman. Number five, she's almost definitely terrible at it. That's actually all five reasons. If you have any female friends, you'll know that they generally tend to be a lot kinder than your male friends and genuinely care about your feelings and overall well-being. However, it's widely known in the bloke community that when you're out with your mates, letting one of your drunk female friends be your wing woman is like letting a three-year-old make you a sandwich. But if you're yet to experience this peanut butter and tuna fish sandwich of a night out, allow me to run you through the typical sequence of events. But first, a quick comparison. When I enlist the help of a wingman, he knows his job is to assist me in bonding with the girl that I like by having a friendly chat with her mates so that at some point I can go one-on-one -on -one with the bird that I'm after. At the risk of sounding cheesy, I'm a bit of a romantic, so I really want to take my time in getting to know her, finding out what she's like, and then having sex with her in the alley behind KFC. But when it comes to having a wing woman, the process is a little more complicated and a lot less reliable. I'm typically out with a few mates, one of them being my self-appointed wing woman to be. Now, she's already a friend of mine, and I do like her. I mean, she's sweet, she's friendly, she's funny, she's not funny, but she finds my jokes funny. Which makes two of us. But it usually begins after she's had a few drinks and she's starting to get a bit wobbly. She comes up to me and asks, any hot chicks in here tonight you're feeling? Yeah, so this is already a red flag. See, usually when a girl starts referring to other girls as hot chicks or fly hoes, she's trying to act like she's one of the guys, but in a very girl who dresses like a boy for Halloween kind of way. Not a good start. However, if you're unable to immediately point out a girl, she can actually help you find one by using the very sophisticated drunk wing woman's matchmaker questionnaire. It's not too long. Only about 15 questions. Question 1. What about her? She's pretty hot. Question 2. What about her? She's pretty hot. Question 3. What about her? She's pretty hot. Question 4. Ooh. What about her? She's really hot. Question 5. So after you've agreed on a girl, then comes the wing woman sales pitch. You should go talk to her. I can be your wing woman. Don't fall for it, mate. Oh my god, I'm a great wing woman, said the terrible wing woman. I've done it loads of times before. She's never done it before. I'm the best wing woman in the world. She ain't even the best wing woman in this video. But even though you have your dats, you're an optimistic guy, so you say, okay, let's do it. Let's devise a plan. Oh, she's already gone. But even though she's gone over without you, you remain optimistic and think to yourself, she's probably just gone over to make friends. That way, in a couple of minutes, I can join them and I can chat to them both and it can be smooth and casual. That's not what's going to happen. In her mind, she's going over to start some casual girl conversation. Oh my God, I love your outfit. Something like that. With the intention of transitioning into a conversation about guys, whether she's single or not, as she spotted a guy she's interested in, so on and so forth, all whilst remaining laid back and subtle. Unfortunately, a drunk and overconfident wing woman in matchmaker mode is about as subtle as an autistic sledgehammer. Oh my god, I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. I got the shoes from H&M and the top is from Prime. I know a guy. Do you want to meet a guy? Look, he's right over there. Why? And now you look like a complete muppet. Because no woman wants to get of a wimpy man-child that's so scared of talking to girls he's got to send over his surrogate mummy to do it for him. And believe me, that is what it looks like. So, to recap, if she offers to be your wing woman, don't let her be your wing woman. If she says she's done it before, don't let her be your wing woman. And if she says she's the best wing woman in the world, I mean, you don't want to laugh right in her face, but at the same time, don't let her be your wing woman. That being said, I do think it's important to always appreciate and acknowledge any gesture of sincere friendship, no matter how misguided or poorly executed. So to all my past wing women, I say thank you for trying to help me. And for any ladies that might see this, even though I don't know whether there's one wishing to be a wonderful wing woman in waiting, I would be willing to warmly offer one wise word of warning if you're watching, which is... Don't.